has it ever been a fun week watching these framers work. We saw last week that their first job since they arrived was getting these posts up. They did that in just a couple of short days since arriving. <laughs> and then what they did in the next five days is absolutely amazing around here. This is what they got done. Okay, why don't I take you for a bit of a tour around how things went. So here we've got the that milk house. The office is gonna be over here. Milk tank's gonna sit over there, little shop. This is kind of that area. So this wall's all nicely framed in. They've got more tidying up to do here, but this at least gets it started. You can see this is gonna be the vet room. We're gonna hold the medicine uh, stuff in here. And there's a nice, gonna be a nice window here. You can look out over the barn at the robots. Over here in the office is kind of the same thing. There's two windows here. Um, yes, they're a little bit higher right now, but this whole office floor is actually, there's gonna be a couple of steps to get up into the office so you'll have an even better view out there. So, watching them get this up, that was cool. How do they know what? I guess they know they nailed it really tight. What do you mean, like fall off, like break apart? No, like fall off the... Oh, because there are bolts there to kind of hold it up. There it is. Yeah, they need to nail it. Well, yeah. Now this looked like an even bigger job. It, <laughs> it looked like work. So we've got these big steel posts. We had a few weeks ago, Schoonerwoods poured the pads for these and now these are lagged to those cemented, rebarred, reinforced pads and they act as big supports. You can see how it's gonna come together up there. You can see there's gonna be those beams all the way across and the rafters are gonna sit on them. So that, it certainly looked like a tough enough job, but man, did they ever do a nice job doing them.
hard time describing how massive these rafters are going to be. This is just the centerpiece of the rafter. There's ends that go on this. So it's a three rafter system. Just because it's 120 feet wide, the entire barn. So they need three sets of rafters to get. And the support and the size of this peak is absolutely amazing. So they've just been working on building these on the ground. Obviously in hopes that one of these days a crane is going to arrive and they'll be able to set these on pretty quickly. So here you can see there's the kind of ends of the rafters. So one will go on one side of the barn, one will go on the other and you've got that massive peak that'll obviously go in the center. And you can see over there like it is as tall as you know the end of the barn. So basically you know that whole peak is going twice as high as we already are which I mean is high don't get me wrong but it is going to allow for so much um, you know fresh clear air to come in because you know that's one of the challenges that we'll have to deal with in the barn that we want to make sure the cows are comfortable is the reality that in July by the time you add in um, you know the humidity that hangs in the air uh, here in our part of the world, you know, you're dealing with 40 degree Celsius days, over 100 degree Fahrenheit days, and you need a lot of air circulating to be able to keep that fresh air and keep that those cows comfortable. So that'll be nice to have. And then here, you can see from the last time we did get those that pump in, which is a good thing, because I said last week, we need to get this in before they frame a roof over it. And look at what they did. <laughs> they immediately framed a roof over it. So good thing they got that done. We were talking that one of the jobs over the next couple of weeks is we're gonna tarp this over, heat this up, and that way we can melt this and get that actually lagged in and installed and directed to the pump. So that'll be another nice job done. So here's one more thing I want to show you because we had Calvin and Nick, the excavators, they were in one day this week along with Justin the plumber so we could get a couple of tanks installed. So here you can see this kind of sticking out of the ground. So what it is is it's going to be a wastewater um, holding tank for the robots because one robot is going to sit with that scrap pile of wood. It's going to be close to there. The other robot is going to be basically right here. And so this is where those two robot rooms are going to drain to. We'll get them to drain to here. And then from here, it will pump. And we'll have the option to either pump it back towards the gutter or over towards the manure pit. We've already dug part of those lines. So that'll be a nice... That's, that's a nice one to have done. The job that we've got to finish up today, right now, while this site is nice and quiet on a brisk weekend, is this cistern. So the cistern finally got in. Man, that made me feel very good.
we've got to do is we've got to bring it up to grade with three quarter stone and then one, it's obviously a safer place for those guys to work, but two, then it's ready for whenever they want to come and redig a couple of lines or obviously in the next several weeks, eventually there's gonna be some concrete in here. So let's get this job done. <laughs> I will add that if you're ever building a barn, the thing that I always underestimate is the aggregates you need. We have a sand pile, a three-quarter stone pile, a B gravel pile, an A gravel pile, and you just kind of all of a sudden you come use them. All right, and now for the very fun part of driving around everything in hopes that we don't knock anything over because when it was wide open and there was nothing in the way, you could drive wherever you wanted. This time we've gotta be a little more careful. All right, get work all day. It's time to go see how the pond is looking after a few good days of preparation. Pretty nice spot here. Adam and I flooded a couple of times, what was it, Friday night? Uh, Saturday night, Tyler and Adam flooded again, and we're getting, <laughs> well, it'll be a good skating afternoon because we definitely have it pretty smooth now. A few bumps, but the good news is, is it is supposed to be cold for at least the next few weeks. Good for the framers and good for this pond. This is going to make for a fun afternoon. So we'll see you in another week.